Hi there brick builders, finally we got our super powered, overpowered robot machine here. What? Oh, no it's not. It's, it's a robot from Boston Dynamics called Spot. Okay, and it's the size of a dog. <sighs> okay, if you say so. So, hi there brick builders, today we got a little robot the size of a dog, done by Boston Dynamics, and it's called Spot. So we're talking about the Mold King 15067. It's Boston Dynamics Spot robot. Mold King used 936 pieces and calls a day 8 plus it, which I doubt. The measurements are 33 by 19 by 18 centimeters. The whole caboodle is a walker, yes it has feet and yes they are motorized, not by Mold King's normal stuff like motors and box, battery box, but by a module that includes two of the motors and the battery box in one thing and also has a loudspeaker in there, which is I guess done because the thing has to be narrow. Normally small cars in the Technic range are powered by this power module. Here it's not really a bummer since the set isn't fast by any stretch of the imagination. So let's have a look at the box. It's I guess for a thousand pieces, Technic, not so small, the most of them. I guess it's a militarized box here, it's, it's real small and it's real packed full, so yeah, that's okay. So on the front there, there's a picture of the set. Interestingly, Mold King didn't name the set, neither on the box or on the instructions. They are just talking about build the blocks technology. On the sides and on the back we also find some pictures of the set and also some pictures of their power module and also of their standard remote control which is included and works with the power module and they also tell me that there is an app to remote control the set but I didn't care, I well, couldn't be bothered to try that. On the back there's also a bit of play features shown there. The thing can walk forward, it can walk backward and it can turn either left or right. So let's have a look at the stickers here. Yes, those are a lot and they are big and they're mainly put on the model on panels that are not really straight. So. It's just a bit of wiggling and probing and faffing around till you got them yeah, halfway decent on the model. The instructions start with the information that we get two sections here. There's nothing grayed out in there. You get your sub-assemblies, you get your arrows. It's rather Lego-like in this case. Then you might already have spotted that there are two versions of the set. One in red, which is this one one and one in yellow. I don't know why they didn't choose to put on orange since that's the original color of spot. In the end of the instructions you get to know how to 
put on all the stickers and how to use the remote to steer that thing and we get 183 steps here with all those extra instructions and extra colors. So let's have a look at the set. As I said, all you're gonna you see in terms of decoration here are the stickers. And then we got two sides of the set. We had two rather small entries to the power module. On the one side you get an on off switch, which with your fingers you should be able to use that. Maybe a pink set is better. And on the other side, there is a little barrel jack there for charging the battery. It's evenly not easy to plug it in. On the other side of the cable you get with it, you get USB 3. So no real problems there. But let's have a look from the underside. There are no odd colors in here, but there's something very important. If you have a look at those little cogs there, those half cogs in 10, these need to be on either the opposite side in the front and in the back because they will determine if your spot will walk and in which direction it will walk if you push forward. So back on its feet, let's have a look at the feet. They can move a bit of a degree there when the front feet are moving left, the back feet are moving right. And this is like some of the bigger trucks do it to reduce the turning circle of this little robot dog. Here we get the remote control there. Eagle Eye viewers will have spotted that this is the normal digital remote that Mold King uses for nearly all their remote controlled vehicles. And then we got our cable here with the USB 3 on the one end and the barrel plug and the other. So much fun plugging it in with your fingers and yeah, that's basically it. And then we got the leftover pieces, nothing to write home about, a bit of pins, a bit of technic stuff, not really something to remember. So let's open the set. Fortunately there's just a bit of strip to cut to open the set without any damage or something like that that other companies do. It's just those two strips and then you can open all the stuff in there or get all the stuff in there which is a lot. This is really not a big box but it is crammed and there is a lot of stuff in there. Inside we got one big bag for every section there which can have other bags inside just like we are used to it. We also have a bag with the instructions and the stickers in there and we have an extra instruction set for the remote. But as per usual for Mold King you carry over pieces from one section to the other and not like Mold King was or basically in some cases it still is. There are no zipper bags in there, they are just those bags that are welded shut. So what I do think of it? Yeah, it's Mold King again and it's Technic. So it needs to be special. Other things I don't buy in Technic. And of course a walker, a working walker is something special. Yeah, you might say, okay, it's barely working and only if you help it with a bit of rubber or stuff like that. That's true. That's real true. It wouldn't work without that. But hey, it's a working walker. So it's okay for me. And it's not too fast, but it's a robot. So you can even give it to a younger child who is interested or fascinated by robots and just give it there and you gonna or you you won't gonna get it back in pieces since they are not able to put the things <laughs> apart there there's not enough power to our younger friends but they can have fun with it they can control it more or less they don't mind if it does 
some weird stuff or run in the wrong direction or something like that. I have no problem with that, just like we do. So it's fine, it's really fine for that purpose. It's also really fine to show off a walker done with Legos, done with Technique and done with Mold King. I don't think that Lego themselves has something similar there at least not really walking or working not really motorized or something like that normally legos and lego sets do have problems to stand up in one position and this thing is walking the quality of course it's go bricks it is a bit harder than Lego or maybe even Carter to put together but it's gonna stay together and there are not really problems. The only problem I've spotted is the color of the pins. There are blue ones in there, at least partly. And there are also ten ones in there but these are frictionless so eh, they kind of get away with it a bit I guess. Uh, if I really need to. Okay. Um, yeah. And of course, the looks of it are not really identical to Spot. I don't think they really dared to do that at the one hand and on the other. It is not easy to put something that narrow together with a motor in there. They had to use the special power brick there. And even then, it's a bit wide for its height. But I guess if they had made the feet longer, it wouldn't work at all anymore. So. So it's real good as a display set, everybody is gonna recognize this thing immediately, even if it's red, and it's fairly good as a play set also, and if you really need the pieces, it's good for mocking and building your own stuff also. But what it's not good for is if you really want to have a real fast racer here, since no, you've seen the speed in the intro and this wasn't unrealistic, this was the real speed. So please don't buy this if you want something fast. But that's it for this video. If you liked what you've seen, please press the like button. If you didn't like what you've seen, please comment me that. And if you really want to be awesome, please subscribe. With that, have fun building, have fun watching, have fun playing and displaying. So, see you!